the Goings Bank tragedy really, in both symbol and substance, shows a great conflict in that part of history. And I'm glad that you all are studying and talking about it. And it's important because it really reflects what was going on in this country then and what's still going on in this country where there is a conflict between jurisdictions. Who has jurisdiction to prosecute crimes that happen within the Cherokee Nation? That debate is as alive and well today as it was back during the Going Snake tragedy. The facts are different, the laws have evolved a bit, but the basic proposition is still there. Should the Cherokee Nation have the authority to met out justice within its borders. But how we got here and how we survived is not constant conflict. We have survived because we've had the good sense to have friends in the rest of the world, our friends and neighbors. And we still need to do that. But we also need to recognize that there are some principles that are worth fighting for. Sovereignty is worth fighting for. Whether the United States ought to keep its promise embedded in that treaty that removed us forcibly and said we would have the Cherokee land forever and ever, that's worth fighting for. If our ancestors did not have the good sense to make friends and allies with as many of our non-Indian friends and neighbors as we could, we would be a footnote in history as a great Indian nation that once was. But we're not a footnote in history. I could talk a great deal about why we're not a footnote in history. We're actually making history every day. I told you a little bit about that, the great impact that we're having on the region. I'm extremely proud of that. I think about how far we've come. I think about how many times the Cherokee Nation might have been wiped off the face of the earth. I think about how many people bet against the Cherokee Nation and how badly they lost. But we're still here and we still believe in cooperation and collaboration over conflict any day of the week.